the final season, the last episode, take us back. Since I can remember, Clem's always been there with me. She taught me to be careful, to be quiet, to be strong, to always aim for the head, to atone when I did something bad, to show mercy sometimes. She told me to shoot her if she got bit. That doesn't feel right. We're doing a lot of bad things to save our friends, to protect our home. When Clem told me to shoot Lily, I got mad, so mad. I don't, I don't know what I feel anymore. I don't know if Clem knows either. I remember all the rules. And the first one is never go alone. <laughs> No, her hat. Clem! Hang on, I'm coming. AJ. AJ, you have to trust me. On the count of three, let go and I'll catch you. Promise. Promise. One, two, three. We need to find a way down. This ship isn't going to stay afloat much longer. There! We can climb down from there. Okay, we've got to jump. It's far. I know it's far, but it's the only way. Hey, Jay, what do we do when we're scared? I am to see you right now. Get the fuck off of me! Are you okay? Yeah, my ass is a little singed, but I'm good. What happened to Minnie? I don't know. I lost track after the explosion. Oh god, she's coming back with vengeance. Clem. Oh, thank god. You guys made it. Look! Willie and Ruby! Ruby, Willie! Oh, Minerva. She's doing she's gonna get herself killed. We've got a break for it now. Everyone run for the cart. I'll stay back and cover you. AJ, go with him. No, I'm staying with you. Oh my god. Clementine! Shit! <gasps> Tennessee! Finn! We have to move. We'll have to squeeze through there. We don't know where it goes. Well, we do know there's walkers in the other direction. But move it, dummy! I saw his eyes when he did it. I saw the bloodlust in them. What are you talking about? Nothing. Go. Damn it. It's so dark in here. We can't move forward without a way to see. <sighs> Alright. Okay, good. Look, there's another tunnel over there. <sighs> Alright, which way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? You brought this on yourself. <gasps> but it's not too late. I won't let you take him. I won't let you make him a monster. What happened to not wishing anyone harm? It has its limits. You fell. <laughs> I'll kill you before I leave her. You did this. She deserved to die. And you know it. By his hand? In that way? I've seen what rage like that can do if it remains unchecked. You told me you wouldn't let him become a killer. I liked it. I liked killing him made me feel strong. I don't care if it was murder. It felt good. Alvin Jr., that is not what I taught you. Not about how you feel, how you treat people, how you think. I'm teaching myself now. The wrong lessons. Says you. I never taught you to find joy in killing. AJ, you can't really believe that. Please, think about what you're saying. Stay out of this or I swear I'll claw your fucking eyes Neither out. Neither of you are listening. Anyone that wants to hurt us should be dead. And I'm not sorry about it, and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. AJ, 
You say you didn't teach me this, when you did. You always said surviving was the most important thing. Be strong, be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. Killing Lily made us safe. I can't listen to this. I know this world is hard for all of us, and for you especially. But there's more to it than, than just survival. Like what? Rule one, never go alone. The very first rule is about how to survive. The older you get, the more rules you have to learn. Surviving is what you needed to learn first. But life gets more complicated. Everything gets more complicated. And that includes you. I need you to hear me, AJ. You can't talk like this about killing anyone. I've heard enough. It's obvious you can't teach him. Get the fuck away from him! We hear you. You just don't understand who we are. I understand you. I've seen your kind. The world is full of you. I've been you. He could live a peaceful life, but... But it's like you won't let him! James, this philosophy of yours? This philosophy is what has kept me human! It, it takes more than words. You can't just talk people into being peaceful. You think I don't want a life like that for AJ, for myself? God, I'd love to live in a world where I didn't have to worry about killing or dying. But that's just not how things fucking work. Not yet. And what you're doing now isn't going to change that. I... Maybe. He doesn't get it. Not like we do. Not like I do. Let me help you, Clem. Trust me to tell which people are bad. That I won't ever use my gun because I like it. Please. You can trust me to decide when it's right. Okay. Really? You're growing up too fast, AJ. And that... that scares me. But you've seen things and done things no one your age should have to do. You've earned my trust. If you say you won't ever enjoy killing, I believe you. <gasps> Let's go! Be safe. A sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon. You already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. What made you think of that? A sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason? It was better. I just, I just thought you should know. A sim was right. We were safer. As bad as Marlon was, he still saved me and AJ. And you nursed me back to health. We owed you for that. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever. Or dead. Instead, we fought back. Because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon. Even in his safe zone. We were just... Hiding. Violet! Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? I had a tree house in the backyard. I used to take my walkie-talkie up there and play for hours. I'd pretend it was a ship and I was the pirate captain. Or it was an igloo and I was a hunter. <laughs> Or a castle, and I was a princess. And that treehouse kept me alive when all this started. That's where I hid. You know, Erickson can still be the home Marlin promised. As soon as we get back, we'll start rebuilding. It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. It is worth it. After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it. Defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy. You name it. It was your idea. Texas. We're calling it Texas. You can't just name it Texas. Fine. Texas too. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. Ooh. Yep. Should be able to jump it. It's not that far. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard. Tennessee. Oh, God. Minnie? Dude, no. No, 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 Ten. Ten, snap out of it! She wants to kill you! I... I know, but... I... Please! 
Please, Minnie, stop! He needs to be with his family! Don't do this! Don't worry, Ten. She can try to stop me. But I am not going anywhere without you. The night will be over soon. I'll help the boys across the gap. Watch out for the walkers! <laughs> you are not his family! <laughs> I'm taking Ten home! I'm going to... Tennessee, move your fucking ass now! Let him go! You'll die if you don't! Violet, please jump! Oh my god! Oh my god, no, no, no! That's right! No. Come with me! No! What the fuck? How could you do that? I had to! You wouldn't ever see Texas 2 if I didn't. I did it for you. Now's not the time, Violet. We can talk about this later, when we're safe. There's nothing to talk about. I didn't want to shoot him. He was my first real friend. But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Clem said I could, so I did. Clem, look out! We'll make it! Go! Grab on! <laughs> Clem! Your leg! You got bit. Come on. We can't stay here. Keep moving. Forward. It's empty now. We'll be safe in there. Uh, we need to find something to stick between the handles! Quick! Bar the door! We need to get those pinballs closed before they break through. Cover me. You did it. Now what? And you need to find a way out of here. We could climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come on. Come on, kid. Don't be upset, my little goofball. It's Alvin Jr. You'll always be goofball to me. Hey, look at me. You're such a cutie. How did I get so lucky? Gotcha. Please. Don't. Don't be silly right now. I just wanted to see you smile. One last time. Don't say that. Please. Don't say that. Get back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so there's a fresh juicy walker just waiting to be gutted. <sighs> Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. I, I want to stay with you. I know what'll happen, and I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and stay. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. I need you to sleep in your bed and have friends and grow tall. Taller than I ever was, I hope. I need you to live, AJ. For me. That's your job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. Can't let you turn into a monster. You have to. No. He didn't kill me. He cut my leg. AJ, I'm coming. Oh, we finally get to see when she rescued AJ. I'm not messing around. Just... Tell me where the kids are. All right, all right. That way. AJ. <laughs> it's me, Clem. Okay, now, where to? Can't go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. We're survivors. And the first rule of survival is never go alone. Never g go alone. I've really missed you so much. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home together. And I'll never leave you again. <gasps> no way. No, no. <gasps> Rosie. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's Tennessee. Please don't go towards the school. 
to the kitchen and see you as a monster. Goodbye, Tin. Oh, wow. You found her hat. It found me. Let's go home. What you doing there, goofball? Whoa. <laughs> Easy there. I found your hat. It was in the creek down by the shack. I thought I wouldn't get it, but Rosie jumped right in and got it out of the water. It's definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you, too. Come with me. I want to show you something. So, what do you think? It's... it's for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. <laughs> <laughs> Food's ready, everyone! Aw, Tennessee! Oh my gosh, a cinnamon ruby. Taste that. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, that's the spot. A sim says he saw 10, 15 of them. A little bit past the old safe zone. I want you to go. You're the boss. We need to know who they are. Maybe even see if they're willing to trade. Just keep your distance until you can make a call. Who who are? A group of survivors out beyond the old safe zone. Some kind of caravan. Are they bad people? How about you back me up, and we'll find that out together. It'd make me feel a lot better if you went. Don't sleep in. Katja. Uh, sorry. <sighs> it's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere. And if we ever had to run... It's okay. I'll make you a new foot. Oh, yeah? There must be a foot-making book somewhere. I'll ask Willie. Okay. Find me the foot book. All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was, we'll see. And your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Did I do a good job? Of course you did. What are you, are you crazy? <laughs> Maybe a little. A lot more than a little. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had, I'd be dead. I was right to trust you back in the cave. Mm hmm. To make the hard calls. Even when I couldn't, you'll have to be strong for the both of us. You made it so I can. So, thank you. For everything. You're welcome. For everything. I'm coming. so cute her hat i hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this whole series i've been playing it for a while hope you enjoyed um have a good rest of your day and i will see you guys next time goodbye mm -hmm.